Good morning and welcome to the penultimate round of the 2022 British Touring Car Championship. We're here at the famed Silverstone Circuit with Laser Tools Racing drivers Aidan Moffat and Dexter Patterson. They've already had races one and two today. Let's go and see how they got on so far. You guys have just had races one and two today. Tell me how you got on out there. Uh, not very good. <laughs> two DNFs, which is not ideal, not what we were looking for. But um, just getting caught up in other people's incidents, and which was unlucky. Um, so hopefully, race three, cars back together and we'll go again. What about you, Aidan? Uh, challenging. The first race, we obviously got taken out early on when we, we had good pace in the car. So that dropped us to the back. Um, from there, we made up a lot of places again, got up to about 19th and then had a puncture, so it was a DNF. Race two, we got hit on the first lap, dropped to last, and then got all the way back up to 16th. So it, it shows we've got pace in the car, we just don't really have anything to show for that, unfortunately. Well, good luck for race three this afternoon. Well, we'll need it. So we are here with Laser Tools Racing Drivers in the GB4 Championship, Logan Hanna and Chloe Grant, who are supporting the boys in the touring cars this weekend. Tell me a little bit about yourselves and your season so far. Well, I'm Chloe Grant, I'm 16 years old, and this year we've been racing in GB4 Championship with Graham Bridge Racing, partnered by Laser Tools Racing. Um, I'm Logan, 21. Um, racing with Graham Brunton Racing and Laser Tools in partnership, I guess. How are you enjoying your weekend in the BTCC paddock? Yeah, it's been a really good weekend. You know, it's nice to have a little bit of a break at times. There has been moments where I've been like, oh, I wish I, wish I was driving, you know, especially after having the touring car test. You know, it's a bit, kind of want to get in the car, you know, maybe just sneak decks or sell them on without anyone noticing. Um, yeah, it's been brilliant. I love watching the boys and supporting them. And they've done, you know, unfortunately not had the exact best races that they wanted to. But in that last race, Aidan made up so many positions and hopefully race three is amazing as well. <laughs> It's been really good so far. Um, I wasn't here yesterday working, um, but I've not been at the touring car since Donington, so it's nice to get back and see all the familiar faces. But the boys are doing great considering what's thrown at them, and I'm sure they'll put on a good show in race three. Well, thank you guys. It's great to have you with us this weekend. We're off to watch race three now. So race three, that was a little bit better than races one and two. Tell me how you feel about that. Yeah, no, it was quite good. Um, came from the back, obviously, and then I think we ended up 17th. Um, which is good, almost half the grid gain, so um, I'm quite happy with that. The pace was not too bad, it was just we had two safety cars, so I think that halted our progress a little bit. Um, so if we hadn't had any, had any safety cars, I think we could have probably got a little bit further up. Yeah, I could see you're making some, some good places out there. Um, and we've got Brands Hatch in two weeks' time, of course, the final round of the season. How are you feeling about that? I'm quite excited. It's, I guess one of the tracks I've actually raced on the GP. I've been I've raced on the GP before, so looking forward to getting back around there. Um, it's a good fun track. And am I right in saying that it was five years ago this weekend that you won the World Championship in karting? Yeah. I know it feels like yesterday, but now it's, uh, when you look back in the pictures, I look even smaller than I am now. So, well, we're glad you're here, <laughs> and we'll see you at Brands Hatch. Cheers. So we're just catching up with Aidan Moffat after race three. You didn't even start the race, Aidan. Tell me what, what happened. Uh, I need to figure out exactly what it was, but we're coming around to the grid. Um, excited to try the new setup changes. And uh, yeah, we just as we were warming the tyres up, there was an almighty bang and no more drive from the car. So we had a proper drive shaft, one of the two uh, that's failed on the car. So yeah, it's pretty frustrating. It's, uh, a rubbish way to end a rubbish weekend on top of a rubbish year. I'd love to sit here and be positive, but I think we'll have run out of the positive stuff a good three meetings ago now. I would say you're doing really well despite everything. I really feel for you. When it happened on track, did you did you know what it might be? 
Yeah, I mean, they went, uh, as soon as there was a big bang and you lost a drive, I knew it was either the prop or a drive shaft. So just tried to roll out of the way a little bit and make life as easy as I could for the marshals pushing me off the track. So uh, you instantly know, but it's, uh, it's one of them. You just kind of cool the car down and try and get in the right position. And it is what it is, so you, you, you can't change it. It's just a bit disheartening, a bit so destroying at the time, really. But that's, these, these things happen and that's, uh, that's race cars, unfortunately. I know, I know. And um, how are you feeling for Brands Hatch? We've got two weeks until until the final round. How are you feeling? Oh, superb. Absolutely buzzing. I feel like we're going to be flying. We're in a really good mood. Great to hear. <laughs> we love the positivity. <laughs> oh, well, we'll see you then. We'll see what happens. Whatever else fails, we'll still not see the Elvis movie, but we'll see, we'll see an Elvis <laughs> impersonator That on might Sunday cheer night. you up. Well, the Elvis impersonator on Sunday night and about 700 pints, I should be all right. <laughs> You'll be drinking and singing no matter what. <laughs> I wouldn't call it singing, but I'll be drinking and doing something. <laughs> well, as you can see, we're packing up here at Silverstone now. It's the end of another very difficult weekend for the boys, Aidan Moffat and Dexter Patterson with Laser Tools Racing. They've continued to struggle with hybrid issues, and on top of that, we've had more bad luck with contact on track. Of course, is isn't the weekend that any of us wanted. All we can do now is hope for a little bit more luck for the final weekend at Brands Hatch in two weeks' time.